Welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man 2. When last we left our plucky young web-slinger, he was being berated by the encumbered educator about his grades slipping and thereby boring half of my audience to tear. Uh, uh, oh crap. We missed the kick. Alright, um, uh, uh, I got this. Uh, initiate plan B. Yeah, that should work. Peter, you made it. Happy birthday. Hey, buddy. MJ and I had a bet going on whether you would actually show up. Thanks, Harry. Hey, MJ. I'm almost afraid to ask, but who won the bet? I did, of course. Okay, Harry, pay up. <laughs> all right, all right. Are you sleeping all right, Pete? You look beat. Just some late nights. Still palling around with that murdering bug? Harry, I know you think Spider-Man killed your dad. He did kill my dad. Someday I'll get him for it, too. You tell him that next time you see him. Yeah, uh, well... Hey, congratulations on those billboards, MJ. Oh, thanks. Um, it's so unexpected. Everything's happening at once. The billboards, the play, which you have to come see, by the way. I'll get you a ticket for your birthday. Can you swing by later and pick it up? Huh? Oh, <laughs> swing by, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I, I promise I'll go. So, uh, what's up at Oscorp lately? I I'm heading up special projects now. We've been providing funding and tritium for one of your heroes, Dr. Octavius. You want to meet him? Do I? That would be great, Harry. I'll set everything up then. Hey, come on, let's eat. Man, that cake was good. I'm stuffed. I'd better burn off some calories or I won't fit in my costume anymore. I can't even remember the last time I saw Harry or Mary Jane. You can tell the game is still brand new, as its only goal for you to accomplish right now is swing around the city for a bit. With acting. This won't last Harry's long. Got Oscorp. Uh, who am I kidding? I haven't seen them because I can't make time. <gasps> Mary and MJ have really tried to be good friends. And I keep brushing them off. <gasps> I wish I could tell Harry and MJ the truth, but how could I? Once again, the game makes you feel like you're in a Spider-Man comic by having a monologue to himself and come about three woes-me's away from growing his bangs long and doing silly dance routines. <laughs> They'll never go that far. Hey, look! Uh-oh. Let's deal with the web slinger first. Combat! At this point, the play to go about achieving the chapter goals. Each chapter goals gain a large amount of hero points by one up in the my store. Fist with your face. Maybe more. Come and on, then start I'll squash you. And then start the story mission. Now, despite being listed in the opposite order on the to-do menu, this is the only real way to cheese through the game, as the game doesn't really plan on you having bought all of the new abilities in a store until after you've done the story missions. Harry's dad was the Green Goblin. How could I tell him that? Hi, my name is Spider-Man, and I'll be your superhero today. Spidey, someone's car's being stolen! Don't worry, I'm on it. This lets the random villain encounters they throw your way become a lot easier to manage. Now, the downside to this, of course, is that you wind up doing a lot of these type of missions because they're the easiest to pull off. But the missions don't necessarily change depending on where you are on the island. Only if you're around one of the hospitals or on the shores will different citizen missions show up. So get used to finding lots of random carjackings. This 
was a bad idea. Ah. Give me that back. Oh. Please stop. I don't really like about the Spidey Sense engine. First, it's just really fucking... It's really fucking hard to dodge a bullet. Second, you cannot dodge an attack if you're in the middle of a combo, meaning thugs and any other enemy types, spoilers, and multiples will have a distinct advantage over you. This is why the most important moves are your AoEs. Anything that lets you deal with multiple people or throw somebody up in the air for a time should be your first priority in the store. Probably figured out that there's two types of crimes that you come across in the city. There's crimes that you just kind of discover, and there's crimes a citizen tells you about. What's the difference? Well, the big one is that you don't have to do anything about the random crimes. That's right, there's no strings attached. You see someone beating some guy up, and you can just walk away if you want, even though you're Spider-Man. If you learn about a crime from a citizen, though, well, you should be ready to deal with the problem. If you don't, there's going to be repercussions. Don't make me explain what that word is. I know, I know. I should avoid those things like the plague. Anything Old habits die hard, I suppose. There's some kind of gunfight happening over there. Surrender immediately. Come and get us, cop! No one's getting shot on my watch. Oh, trouble! Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute, oh, man! Oh, you man. ain't bad! You ain't nothing! Ooh. Good job, Spidey! No problem, officer. Anytime. It's going to be a short update this time, so next we'll explore some of the different location missions, get shut down by one chick, become an art critic, and be introduced to the greatest boss in comic books. You gonna make me hurt you? So great. What am I going to do? Watch Come out! On. Some of us got places to be. Come back! Come on! Some of us. 